Right, one, um, I'm going to show you how to approach and how to um, how to color in <laughs> your little fruit or vegetable. So um, I have my rough draft to finish that. I transferred it onto my final draft paper. Okay, I, I transferred it to the side um, that I labeled FV because this is the nice side of the paper. It's got the tooth to it. Um, it's got the good texture. It'll absorb the oil pastels really well. And a uh, first thing we need to do when we're actually going to color this in, okay, is uh, we have to have our reference picture out and we have to resist the part of our brain that goes, I know how to do that. I know how to color it in. That's a tomato and it's red. Okay. And it's got a green stem. Okay. I'm done. Okay. <sighs> this is terrible. Okay. Don't do that. Resist your brain. Tell your brain to be quiet, just like we've been doing all year long. We have to focus on what we actually see in front of us. So when you're going to start coloring this in, you really have to take in all the different colors that you see. This is not just one flat red tomato. There's all this different shading going on, these different tones of uh, different shades of red, um, different tints of red that you'll see as well. There's um, green in here. This green in here does not match the green that comes out of your oil pastel at all, okay? And the red also doesn't all match the red that comes out of your oil pastel. That's more complex, okay? So um, when we go to color this in, we have to match our colors and you've learned how to color match, okay? Uh, you did a little exercise it uh, before break with our little magazine swatches. So we're going to use that method again. So for colors in here and everything, we have to look at the different colors that we're seeing. There's a different splotch of red here compared to here, compared to here. Um, the green is different too. So let's just focus on maybe this splotch right here. If I'm going to match that splotch that I see, I need to identify the hue. I need to identify its intensity, if it's dull or super pure and bright, and I have to identify the value, okay? So first of all, the hue, I'm pretty sure that's red. <laughs> pretty sure it's a dark red. And I, and with that, I'm already identifying its intensity. Is it pure and bright or is it, super, is it dull? It's a little dull. It's darkened. So that means I have to add the complementary color to it. So I know I'm going to be using red. But because it's a little dull, I'm going to have to use green to dull it down a little bit. Um, and then I have to identify the value. So is it a tint? Is there any white in there? I don't think so. Is there, is it a tone? Is there any gray in there? I don't think so. Is it a shade? Is there a little bit of black? Maybe, maybe it, it might just be the green that I can darken it with. I'll keep the black here. Um, but try not to use black too much. You really darken things just by using complementary colors. And sometimes you need a little bit of black. So we'll see. Okay. So I'm going to try and match that color before I actually go to color it in on my tomato. And I'll just try with my rough draft. And uh, that's the point of having these extra papers and stuff um, so that we can check our colors first. So I'm going to try and match that. I put the green down first and then I go over with the red. And actually that, that ain't half bad. Look at that. That matches it pretty, pretty well. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of black too, just to see, because we said it might be a shade. So I'm just gonna ever so lightly put a little bit of black. See, just, just a tiny little bit. And then try with the red again. And, hey, what do you know? I think, Actually, I think somewhere in between the two. It's maybe just a touch less black. So I'll try one more time. A little bit of green. Even less black this time. Just ha, ha, ha. I barely touched the paper. And now. And I think I got it that time. Okay, so that seems to match. Yes, that seems to match that splotch right there pretty well. So now I know how to do that piece of the tomato. So I can kind of go in and color that part in and then I can continue. So I, I would go in and match that color right there. Um, I'm not going to do it on camera. I'm going to do a little bit more color matching in here, this green. Okay. The stem is green. So I'm identifying the hue. It doesn't look yellow green or blue green. It looks true green. Um, so it's green. I'm going to identify its intensity. Is it bright, pure and bright or is it dull? It's a little dull because it's darkened down as you